Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. On several occasions, I have been called a Glock hater. And the truth is, I have most likely owned more Glocks than most people watching this video. Throughout the years, I currently own four Glocks. I like Glock. I appreciate Glock. But not everything is a Glock copy, as so many people state. They say, oh, come on, man. Why don't you just get a real Glock instead of one of those stupid copies? And I hear that all the time. And when you say, well, you're, you're just a Glock hater, I say, who, me? Because I own four, and I appreciate Glock. Now, Glock was first produced in 1982, and it was a Gen 1. It wasn't called Gen 1 at the time because they didn't know, I believe, that they would come up with five separate generations. But here's a Glock 19. The Gen 1 Glock and this one, there's no great difference. What does that mean? Not a lot of innovation going on over there. That's what it means. You look at the computers that were so popular in the 90s. You'd buy a baseline computer for five, $600. Then you had to add all these additional parts. And next thing you know, you're at $1,100, $1,200 for a computer that had it to be upgraded. You see where I'm going with this? And if you were to have that same option today, you'd say, no way. I'm just going to buy this computer over here that already has everything on it. I would never go back to those days because it was more difficult. It was more expensive. It was a lot of additional labor and shopping around for the best deals. And yet, the same situation occurs with Glock. You look at what Springfield did with the Echelon. They built this gun from the ground up. They took a little bit from the XD line, a little bit from the Hellcat line, and they did so much more to it. They, they changed out the, the slide. They made it optic ready, a VIS system, variable interface system, where you can put a whole bunch of different optics on there. They made the grip nice and comfortable, 20 and 17 round magazines, an excellent trigger that is lighter than the XD triggers. They did a phenomenal job, and a lot of people are loving the Echelon. Initially, they were like, I don't need that. Then they shot their buddies and said, uh, I think I need that. We look at what Walther did with the PDP. This could be argued that it's a PPQ Gen 2, but not really. They changed out the slide serrations. They made the trigger lighter. The grip has excellent ergonomics, and they made it optic ready. Glock has been late to the party time and time again. One of my favorite Glocks is the Glock 45. It's fine, but you're looking at right around 600 bucks for this. In many places I've seen, well over, like closer to 640, 650 for an MOS version. Now, I recently reviewed the Bull Armory Axe Hatchet. This is comparable in size to a Glock 17. It has 17 round mags, but if you purchase this with an MSRP of 620, there is absolutely nothing you have to do. You look at the slide serrations, a full pick rail, a light three and a half pound trigger that is flat, the stippling, the optic ready option. It is a phenomenal handgun for right around the same price as a base Glock. And so I go back to that same argument that nobody would buy a computer that you had to do a whole bunch of stuff to that would raise your overall costs to get it to where you want it to be when you could buy one that has everything that is equipped with the way you would prefer it. Now, many people say the, the Glocks just shoot well for me. Well, that's that's fine. Then I, I'm not trying to persuade anybody against the Glock. But to get the trigger changed, the sights changed, some of the other parts changed, many people stipple the grip, it's, it's an, there's additional costs. And with those additional costs, it adds up to closer to a grand. You look at what this is here, a GST9. Look at those slide cuts. They are very nice, all right? The grip, it feels very nice. When I feel a Glock 19, it's it's blocky. Somebody with smaller hands, they're not going to do as well with this. You look at what CZ did many years ago with the P10C. Black Friday, I saw that gun sell for 299. 
That's a steal. Find a Glock brand new for $2.99 and I'll buy two of them. I don't think you'll be able to do that. You look at some of the Turkish guns. People beat up on Canik. People beat up on TSS. They say, well, there's nothing more than a Glock copy. Just get the real thing. They have now a good track record of success. Maybe initially they didn't, but now they do. And people have come around to it. So is Glock still the king of the hill? Many people compare the Glock 19, the Glock 17 with others. I compare them with others. But if you look at the cost, the durability, the shooting impressions, and if the other ones work for you, just go with it because ultimately you're the one behind the trigger and you're the one that's going to use that for your protection. And if it works for you and you shoot it well, then that's the one, even though there's always the guy next to you at the, at the store saying, I don't know why you get that. You can always get a Glock. It's always the best. And that position is certainly debatable if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe